What's up guys, how's it going? This is another episode of Joe's Are Composite. That's me, Joe Elke. I haven't made a video in quite a while. The last one did pretty well, then got like 6,000 views. I hope this one also does well. I used to be all FL Studio, I make beats in FL Studio, tell myself how to record vocals, vocal production, mix, and master, all professional sounding in FL Studio in Oklahoma. And then I moved here to Atlanta and I was like, oh no. Are they not going to take me seriously because I don't use Pro Tools? Uh, convince myself they wouldn't force myself out to learn Pro Tools. That's how that works. And at first it was a pain in the ass. Very frustrating, like going to chuck my laptop. Very frustrating. Um, but after watching enough videos like this, eventually it just hit the way it needed to hit. And then after like a week, I was consistently in Pro Tools. So hopefully this is one of the videos that just hits for you if you haven't found one already. It's really not too difficult of a concept. It's just understanding you have to create a track just for audio. That audio goes on and you're sending that to an aux input, an effect track basically. It doesn't actually have audio on it. It's purely there to send something back and forth. It's not too complicated. Uh, I'm gonna show you a small piece of hardware that I have to get you to understand like the ins and outs concept. There's really only two things you need to understand going to Pro Tools. Is one is the ins and outs, and I'll show you that. And then the second is a template. When I was in FL Studio consistently, I never used template. I never had to. I could just walk in FL Studio, throw things up, make a beat, yeah, fast, easy. With Pro Tools, that is not an option. You better order a pizza before you decide you want to make a reverb send. Like, it's extra until you figure out how to do it, until you have your template, then you're just kind of walking on, everything is laid out for you. So I'm gonna show you this real quick and then we'll get into it on the screen, but I think this will help. This is Lindell Audio 500 Series Box. What we got is microphone. Audio is gonna go into the microphone and that's coming to this. Input, that's what it says input. Audio is going in to this. It's coming out to a wire that goes into my Apollo. Very simple concept, but you have to understand this very simple concept. Audio is going in this device, into this box. Audio is coming out of the box, out the wire, into this, going into here. Ins and outs. This is analog hardware and imagine an entire studio, you know, of nothing but this. One of the ways you get hired at a big professional commercial studio is understanding this concept of signal flow. That's something they need you to know. And when it comes to consoles, preamps, compressors, ADDA, DA converters, all that jazz. Now, if you can understand that simple concept of ins and outs, you're gonna be able to get Pro Tools. It's not that hard. It's just a different way of thinking than what you're used to with FL Studio. You know, in FL Studio, you have your mixer um, tracks that you click mixer and you have like all the tracks just lined up for you and you can just, you know, control L, boom, that's my vocal. I click a little thingy, goes right here, reverb, dry down. Now I have reverbs then. Crazy. Took like five seconds. Delay send, parallel compression, you know, left to right channel. If you're make instru instruments, you just click, you know, control L or right click and put it in each channel. There, you don't have to think about what kind of channel it is. You just know this is a channel, this is a track. I put things here and when I do what I do. And Pro Tools, it's an, you are gonna make a new audio track or make a new aux track. An audio track is a track that's audio is gonna be able to actually be had on it. An aux track does not have audio on it. It's a sender, it's a receiver or a sender. You put an effect on it and it sends it to something else or it receives audio for the effect to be put on it. So you can't really actually have effects uh, I, you can't really actually have audio on that track. I'm going to show you in Pro Tools and then we'll compare it to FL Studio. And then, like I said, if it lets me, then I'll probably just put my template down there. And you guys can make your own templates. I usually just use one for like almost everything. They're not hard to make. Y'all know it's just going to be watching videos like this on YouTube back and forth until you really get it. But once you understand the concept and make your template, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be going in smooth, like, oh, okay, got it, I know how to do this. So let's look at Pro Tools. All right, guys, let's take a look, okay? So we're in Pro Tools, you got Pro Tools, you're creating a new one. New, let's just call this, you know, um, screen record, that's what I'm doing right now. 
Um, you don't need to overthink any of this. Never change this. Um, if you can, do, always do 32-bit. That's just better sound quality. 41 to 48. I just let it sit at 48. I don't overthink that either. Last use. You have lots of options here. Just stick with last use. Stream record. Saving as documents. You don't really need to change this stuff almost ever. Create new. Save changes to the other one. I was on. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Let's see. Okay, brand new. So you got audio track and then aux track. Aux sends things to audio. So we're going to do this real smooth. We're going to open up a new track. And we got mono. We're going to act as if you're an audio engineer recording an artist. They're bringing in the beat. Okay. So track mono. And it's going to be an audio track. That's what you need to worry about. Samples are not changing that. And let's do this um, vo vocal. And create. Because if we put the audio track, you can record on this, mute, solo, and yes, where your audio is going to go. If you do um, control or command plus, you're going to bring up your mixer channel. And we only added one track, so this is the mixer. I don't got to think about any of this yet, so this is all you need to know. Track, new, we opened up an audio track, put it in mono, and we put it right there. That's where your audio goes. Now we're gonna go to track new, and I'm gonna do three. And these are gonna be aux input, aux track. It says aux input because there's no audio that's gonna sit on it. It's sending something. It's sending an effect to the audio track. The audio track is going to take it in. The audio track is sending its audio to the effect track, basically, the aux input. And the aux input is sending it back, okay? And we're gonna do three aux and let's just go um para um i'll rename them i'm not tripping on that we like parallel compression so i'm creating three aux tracks they're not audio tracks and let's make these stereo these would be like effects to put to go towards like your main vocal basically so if you look right here what you don't see you can't record on an aux track that makes sense audio doesn't go on it you see the difference here open space audio this is like volume automation you click the left Grab the middle, do this. It's going to save you a lot of time. I want to take that away. Command Z, Z, Z. Command Z makes things go away. So, your audio track right here, insert, send. And so, these are plugins. Inserts are plugins. Your send is you sending this audio out to go into something. So, bus, you're going to come to bus and you're going to have like one through whatever. But right here is what yours looks like. You would pick one of these and you could rename it. So let's say I did like bus one. I have already renamed it reverb. So now I have this vocal going out to something that's has reverb. That's reverb. So if I come to my right here and let's put like deverb on here. Let's do stair, um, like stock plugins. Got you right there. No input. So in, out, in, out, in, out, in right here. It has like as the microphone and really it's just any audio we put there because you could record on it that's why it says the microphone because you could record right there and i'll put a record track and i'll do a little demo or something so reverb so no input well, we have this sending out to reverb we named that bus reverb so on the input we're going to click the bus reverb this is it this is the whole process your brain needs to wrap around right uh, right now sending out to something called reverb on my reverb aux I'm going to put my input, that bus that we just called reverb, and now I'm sending it right there. So let's name this um, like reverb and we're going to go back to track, new track, mono, audio, and we're going to be recording on this. Recording and it's we could have recorded like right here on the main vocal but i'm making one just for recording naming recording um recording in mono um it came on the bottom right here i don't like that grab it over here move it up and if you click the command plus you can change the color to, right where is it where, where are we at though right here down here so i double click the record and i'll make it red purely just for aesthetic reasoning so i'm gonna click back to this there you go now it's red okay on the outputs, it's pretty much always going to be the same thing. This is like five put stereo, like just your speakers, basically. You don't really need to change that. Inputs the microphone. So 
you would basically record right there. So you got your record right there, your vocal. So what would happen is you would click record and you would record whatever you wanted to do. Um, my microphone's being used for the screen recording. Basically it records right there. You would grab this and you put it down to, oh no, not automation. You pull it down to your main vocal. And this reverb, however much you want, would go to that. Let's put this one as like delay. And I'll go throw ahead and, yeah, I said stock, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw the H delay on here. Boom. And I'm gonna go here on my bus on inserts and I'm gonna click the bus delay. I already named it. And because I have it, the vocal going to the one called delay, now I'm gonna go to what I want to be delay, go to the input, and I'm gonna make the input the delay bus. And now, whatever audio is right here, those vocals, I would click this, and this would be what I'm doing, you know, you know, a little bit, you know, you know how it is. And then it would come over here. And that amount, where well, I did the effect, whatever I want the effect doing, and I'll click this, and it will bring up this or the reverb one, and how much of that do you want? So what you just did over here, how much of it do you want? Delay, how much of it do you want? And my other one would be, um, that's where I originally put PAL, parallel comp, you know, parallel compression. Very important, in fact, that one usually is like my first one. And then I would go to my main vocal, and I would add another sun. And what's it gonna be? It's gonna be, I should say parallel comp. Or might be like all the way down here for whatever reason. Um, you right there. Yeah. And then I would put how much of that I want. So this right here in your main vocal is going to be the main volume knob, basically fader for the effect you're sending. And for my parallel compression, I really like using the. Um, I'm giving y'all sauce right now, just so you're aware. Um, the Fairchild. Fun fact, I found out that Mix by Ali, who does Kendrick stuff, also uses that. I did not know. I'm happy to know we use the same shit. And sometimes I won't even touch anything on here. I'll just throw it on. And I know it's going to give that kind of like, kind of goldiness in the high end, like a little gold tint, nice surface in the top. And then I'll go to parallel compression, and I'll just bring however much I want of that in it. So that mixing-wise, those are nice things too. But for Pro Tools, yeah. That's basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to be track, new, whether or not it's audio or aux. The audio, the, you're going to have your main audio and then things that are sending to that. So sometimes I would have like vocal one, two, three, and it's all sending to one vocal bus. And you can just kind of start naming things how you want to use them for various things. So in FL Studio, you're used to like the... You know, all the tracks lined up. You have your main one. You click those little dongles, right? Like we su It's super easy. They made it really easy in FL Studio. For here, you have to set things up. And you're setting it up as if you have, like, hardware and analog and stuff like that. So if I get out of this, and let's say I go to my template. Open project. Um, um, whatever I want it to be. Yeah, we'll do this one. Because this song is good and it'll be a good to show you what I'm talking about. We'll give the M2 Pro a moment. It does not disappoint. I have a lot of stuff on here. Take your time. Okay. And then I'm going to Command Plus. Command. Yeah. So his stuff is pretty simple. So this is what my template looks like. Okay. So we're going to show you. Okay. So what do I have here? I got my master. Now, to create a master is easy. You go to track, new, and right here, you're going to click master. I don't know what VCA master is. Don't ask. We're going to click master. We would do stereo, and then this would pop up. And you notice it's like an aux because why everything is being sent to this master. And then I got stuff on there. I got my instrumental, and all that is is an audio track that I named beat usually the beat comes in like that it's just on the clip over here I bring it in and then i have recording and then i have multiple different audio tracks like six different audio tracks for just my recordings and i will record drag it down right there drag it down drag it down drag it down and then i'll slowly move them in this is the all main vocal bus i was referring to so i got audio 
track, audio track, audio track. I got sometimes I got different things in there. Auto tune, of course, is going to go like on the actual audio track, not the bus. And then on the bus, I have my effects. Yada, 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 all that jazz. Um, dynamic EQ, get on it. Um, parallel compression, reverb sent, just like I showed you. So all those are like um, down here. So like parallel compression, reverb send, delay send. Um, does it even look like I have uh, uh, you 660 on that? Wow. Oh, well, I didn't, did I? I'm happy to know that I don't do the same stuff all the time only when I need it. I'm going to take pride in that. Um, so, like, yeah, three main vocals going to my main vocal bus. This is the aux track. If you notice, it's going in main vocal right here. So these three audio tracks I have going out to the main vocal, main vocal bus, main vocal bus, and that bus is coming in on here. That's how this works. Same thing of all ad libs. There's an aux. I call it all ad libs. Three, uh, several audio tracks, and I put the some some of them. One of them, one or two. Yeah, like one of them. I I I'll do a little, a little trick. I'll have like the main vocal coming to one of the ad libs. Don't you know? Don't uh, finesse. But the other ones, you see, it's coming. What's going in is all ad libs here, and these ones, what's going out is all ad libs. So the audio is on here. It goes out to all ad libs and this aux is taking in everything that's going out to all ad libs. Same thing, same thing right here. So I'm gonna see if I can give you all this, but this nice master beat recording, recording tracks, and then different, you know, it's, it's really just like multiple audio tracks with an aux. That aux is the bus effects for these audio tracks. That's what That's what's happening right there. So, in terms of you going from FL to Pro Tools, Command Plus, this is going to take you to all your audio tracks. And if you're in FL, you're used to your master being on the left. So your master is right here. And you got all your tracks here. You have this right here to pan left and right. If it's a stereo, you can control the stereo. Your effects are going to be all right here. Then all your sends, my parallel reverb delay, I have a left and right channel. Really easy way to fatten up a vocal. Just have the vocal going out to the left channel that's pan left. Another one that's pan right. And you can literally bring it up more. It's a nice way to do it without having to like um, process it a lot. So if you could just rewatch this video and set up how you're doing it. As an audio engineer, if you taught yourself how to do it in FL and then go to Pro Tools, that's, that's really the concepts you need to understand. Now, if you're making beats in Pro Tools, you got you got bigger problems bro all right guys i hope that video helped you break things down and how your thought process needs to be um, going from fl studio to pro tools um it's not hard it's really going to be just you seeing yourself differently like oh no am i not going to be an fl studio person am i going to be a pro tools person now it's not like that you know all the knowledge you can have that's what you want you don't want to be caught in a position of being in a real commercial professional studio and because you don't know how to use that program, well, well, I guess you can't show them what you do and what you, you know how to make people sound good. You know, that would suck to be in that position where you couldn't show them because you don't know how to use that program. You don't know how to speak that language. Don't let that be you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Please, if you can have the time, um, follow my Instagram, which is Joey Elke underscore. When I'm not doing this, I'm a real estate agent, and that Instagram will probably be things real estate in Atlanta, along with me audio engineering slash producing. I'll show artists that I work with on here. I'll show a small clip of the song that I showed you guys up here at the end of this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other ideas on videos I can make, comment them. Peace. I know on the block, push your people, I know, but I know, but I know, hey, I know. I'm being your piggy. See, I drop for a nigga, didn't forget it. Yeah, we rock out in your city, no love for these bitches. Break gang with them niggas out the top, off the dome, no lie, we get For the money, I serve on crib. Turn out a nigga to a victim, I need it. Road running, came through speeding. Pack came through with this eating. Cut the dope down into pieces. Cut dope, baby, I mean it. Real street nigga, old thing.